boarded up windows, no customers, and little activity. Thomasville's historic district suffering since the coronavirus crisis. It's been pretty detrimental. It's been a struggle. Glenn Fesco manages a bar called The Alibi on Salem Street. For four months, he's seen no customers and no cash flow. Yeah, we, uh, we've spent a lot of time trying to build up that, that downtown atmosphere, and, and the past four months have really put a damper on that. And not everyone is going to make it through the closures. With retail shops like Salem Vintage and Refined and Company unable to spring back, the two combined stores recently announced they're going out of business. It's hard to get people to come out here and shop in Thomasville. Foot traffic even before the pandemic, Glenn says, was hard to achieve in Thomasville. Uh, some weeks are good, some are really bad, and it's, uh, you really have to struggle to, to uh, struggle and save and uh, prepare for those rainy days. JJ Ring, who operates an ice cream shop in Delhi, agrees with Glenn. Thomasville's a tough crowd. It's hard to get people to come out downtown and actually support. You know, people want things, but they don't necessarily always come out and support. In response to the struggle, Keith Tobin, president of the Thomasville Chamber of Commerce, sent the following to Fox 8. It's sad to see that businesses that were making great strides before the pandemic now having to close. We continue to encourage our community to support all our businesses, but particularly our small businesses. We're we're hanging in there, not not very strongly, but we are. We're hanging in.